Right, good day learners. One of the things you must expect in your final matric exam is that you very likely are going to get asked one or maybe two ledger accounts. So while this exercise focuses on a whole lot of uh, ledger accounts, it is important that you get to remember and to understand the concepts of these ledgers and how they work. So I'm going to go through in three different questions now, different video links, explaining some of these ledger accounts. And the first one I'm going to look at is the SARS, the income tax, and I'm going to link in it, for the purposes of this revision, the actual income tax account. So where income tax comes in with a company? Remember that SARS, and you've dealt with this before when you did PAYE and you did VAT, SARS is a liability account. It's the people that you owe your tax to. So generally SARS will have a credit balance. However, in this particular exercise, they've got a negative balance. Now that would mean that we must have overpaid SARS last year. So on the 1st of November, at the beginning of the year, they actually owe us money. Now remember from a tax point of view, we have to do provisional tax. Now at school level, you won't have to calculate it, but you will be given the figures and you have to be able to record the transactions. Right, so if we look at the transactions here, on the 30th of November, it tells us that the company received a refund. So we got our 8,000 Rand back. So you're going to debit your bank and you're going to credit the SARS account because you've now received that money and that amount is now outstanding been paid off, SARS has refunded you, and there's no more amounts owing. Then it goes on and says though that on the 30th of April, you were liable for a total of 55,000 in respect of your income tax for the first six months. Now this is where I said this is a provisional tax. You have to estimate it and you have to pay it. So you're going to credit your bank because you're paying and you are actually debiting this liability account. What you're doing is you're paying up the 55000 before you actually know what the tax is. Once you know what your income tax is, then you'll have your debt. But provisional means you've got to start paying in up front. Now these payments have to be done every six months. So on the 31st of October, again, another 55000 has to be paid. So again, you're crediting your bank and you're going to be debiting your liability, you're paying off the amount at this stage. And both of them coming out of your CPJ. Now, if you had to look at this account at this point in time, and let's take off the 8,000, because that was settled, you, you've actually got a debit of 110,000. So this represents the amounts that you've already paid upfront to SARS. So later when you get to financials, you'll see SARS with a debit balance. That's what it's representing, the amount that you've actually paid. Now, only when the financial year comes to an end and you're able to work out what your net profit is, are you then able to calculate your income tax, which is in this case was 120,800. Now, again, at school level, they'll give you the amount or you'll work out a percentage. So now you know what your actual expense is. And that 120800 has to be shown in the income tax account, the actual expense account. This is the actual expense for this year. And that amount is then owed to SARS. So there's your double entry, right? So in here, you're going to have income tax. And this is all on the 31st of October. And over here, also 31st of October, but the double entry is SARS income tax. And in this case, you would use a general journal. Remember that um, ledgers are, in, um, your folios are important unless they tell you to ignore them. And the other thing is, these are ledger accounts. So your details must be where the double entry is. And now, if we have a look here, remember that the 55 and 55 is 110. That's what we've already paid. We have got to pay 120,800. So in this case, we still owe SARS. And if I balance this account out over here, um, 
120,800 would be my total on both sides and I would have a 10,000 Rand 800 which you would then go into the next year and on the next year SARS is a liability you owe him 10,800 so therefore the purpose of the SARS account is to keep a record of what you owe to SARS you pay your provisional tax you then work out your actual income tax and you balance out to see what you still owe them the biggest problem that many learners experience is that they don't really want to put this these 55,000 into this account they want to put it in the income tax but learners that is not your income tax income tax is a percentage of your profit these are estimates you don't know your profit yet it's only when you know your actual tax amount can you bring in your expense Right, now that's what I'm going to cover in this lesson and then the, the second video clip I'm going to focus on dividends and then finally I will bring the appropriation account in.